Okay, welcome again to Likras. This week is Parshas B'Shalach. We're reading the Torah portion of Parshas B'Shalach in Chumash Mos, in the second book of the Torah, the book of Exodus. Today we're focusing on one verse, one Pasuk. The Pasuk is the 13th chapter, the 21st Pasuk. It's the beginning of the Parsha. The Pasuk says, V'ashem olich lefnechem yomam b'amud onen lancho samadarech v'alayla b'amud eish lahir lehem l'leches yomam v'alayla. Seems quite simple. Israel, the people of Israel are getting out of Egypt. They're moving out. God leads them in the daytime with a pillar of cloud, just a miraculous pillar of cloud that's leading the way to show them the way, and at nighttime with a pillar of fire to light up for them that they can go in the day and the night. They're leaving Egypt. We're going to see soon they're going to be chased by the Egyptians. It's not over till it's over. They're getting out. And so there's a pillar of cloud in the daytime. Why use a cloud in the daytime? Because it's day and it's visible. And cloud is a very nice, clear pillar to follow. And why not at nighttime? Because it's dark. You can't see clouds so well at nighttime. So then we have a pillar of fire. Fire is very visible at nighttime. So it's very simple. Daytime is pillar of cloud. Nighttime is pillar of fire, and that way they can walk and go. Let's see what the Mar Vashemish, the Rebbe, has to teach us on this Pasuk. So on this verse he says, Yesh Lirmuz Beze. He's working on a level of Remus, which we spoke about in the introduction. Ki hinei, ha yom. Mitzvahs, doing positive commandments, has a kinwi, has a side name has an allegorical name called daytime. Vaveir is Bukhun Mashem Laila. And sin has a name of night. Mitzvah's positive action is day, sunny, and sin is nighttime. Well I know some of the So this verse then is saying on the level of Remez, Shima the Mosin Mitzvah, a person does a mitzvah, Lo Yaksi Tovala Atzva Shosa Sakuray Vaknachum. A person's reaction after he does a mitzvah should not be that he has totally filled the mitzvah perfectly. Even though he did have a strong desire to do the mitzvah and he did the mitzvah, yet he should not feel that it was perfect. But that was age a year of Ava. Really, he did have a fire that was promoting him to do the mitzvah. It was fear of God that he was awed, inspired by God. I want to do his mitzvahs. And it was Ava. He wants to be in love with God and do what God wants from him. And he wants to do the mitzvahs. Yet, Maybe he hasn't fully perfected himself and he hasn't done the same mitzvah that he really did 100%. Therefore, the mitzvah he does doesn't really shine fully like it could. And the same attitude backwards when he does a light sin. He should treat it very seriously. As if he did it with fire, that he was very interested in doing the sin. Now, if this is his attitude, he's going to have a strong push to move forward, to become a better person. To make himself stronger. When he's coming to do more mitzvahs in the future, he has more desire to do it properly and really do it for the purpose of Shemayim. But please don't put him for side reasons that other people should honor him. And also, so to the native side, he should run away from sin. And the fire gets him excited to stay away from sin. He wants to start up with himself. To do tshuva, to repent on the sins that he's done. A true repentance to really change and move away from sin. Sin it, that he did already should be large in his eyes. Somebody who has this attitude, minimizing his mitzvah performance, maximizing his sins in order to regroup and do better next time, he's called going the way of Hashem. I'm talking mice of Karoi, and he's fixing up his actions. Let's put this on this verse that we have here. Hashem Hashem's going in front of them, Perish. Over the Hashem, 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 the negative name, those people who are serving Hashem, Tamid, Yom Bamud Anan. Daytime. There's a pillar of cloud. Mitzvahs, which we said are called like daytime mitzvahs. They're treated by the person. They have a darkness like a cloud. It's not see-through. It's not so clear. 
Because there's always a lack in his serving Hashem. He could do better. He could do more. He could do the more proper, more proper intention. And nighttime is with a pillar of fire. Sin, which is called nighttime. He treats it now with fire to burn it out of his own bones that he did the sin. And he's working hard to do tshuva, to repent and get away from the sin. As if he did the sin in a big way with a lot of desire to sin, even if that wasn't the whole truth. Meaning that he has some minor flaw, and the way for him to attack his minor flaw is to realize that a flaw is a flaw, and he has to fix it. This is what it means to go in the day and the night. To fix up his actions. To become better in doing his mitzvahs, and to work on doing tshuva, repentance, on the sins that he's done. So we look back at the verse, we see the verse says that there's two aspects of Divine leadership, daytime, it's with a pillar of cloud, which is not see-through, which is opaque. Pillar of cloud means the day, the mitzvah, so the person's done properly, could be done better, could be done with more desire, could be done with more purity of motive to connect to God, to be really spiritual, not for side reasons, not for personal profit on the side. So to sin the other way, sin is nighttime, and there God leads with a pillar of fire. That person has to take the fire to burn out whatever sin he has even if it didn't seem to be such a big sin, yet, fix it, change, move forward, become more spiritual. That's what the Rebbe is telling us on this verse, what we can learn from this verse.